It's called Superman School, and it has one of the highest dropout rates of any special ops force in the U.S. military. Nine out of ten men who try never become Air Force pararescuemen. They want to test like your mental barrier of when you're going to quit, if you're going to break. Because like the end state is when your buddy's dying and stuff's hitting the fan, are you going to be that guy that can stay there and handle it? You know, what did you look for as a team sergeant for those young guys? And I looked for the dudes that were hungry, right? That they would get the team and they just, they couldn't get enough. They were just, give me more, give me more. And, and if I didn't, if I didn't pass them appropriately or I didn't give them enough work, like, they would finish it and then like, hey, what, what do we need? And they're either helping other dudes or they're, you know, f grabbing a radio, learning how to program it. Just they're hungry and I can't give them enough at some point. National Guard pararescuemen, or PJs, are certified paramedics with special tactics training. Their mission, responding anywhere around the world at a moment's notice to save lives even in the most hostile environments. So essentially we get called out anywhere at any time to rescue someone. It could be in, in the mountains of Afghanistan, uh, it might be out in the middle of the ocean, or it could just be here in the local community, a lost hiker. Oftentimes that's when we get the call. So we train to jump in, to do a dive mission in. Uh, oftentimes we fly in helicopters to get to, to the objective. And so, you know, yesterday we were doing some parachuting. It's usually one or two guys that are on our team and we have to jump out to an austere environment, you know, really detached from, from the main base. And so we get to practice parachuting and mountain climbing, diving. It is intense. It requires you to be really focused. It requires a lot of recurrency training. You know, guys really have to kind of be on top of their game day in and day out. You know, one of the big things that, that, that we really look for is a guy that has a never quit attitude. You know, our mission, our motto is, you know, these things we do that others may live. And so early on in training, we want to emphasize to the candidate that it's something that goes beyond yourself. You have to be willing to sacrifice everything. We look for people that are good teammates. It's important, you know, when you're in a two or three man team, it's important that you can rely on your teammates. And so those are some of the attributes and characteristics that we look for. You know, my favorite part is, you know, just working alongside my brothers, being a part of a mission that's, you know, that's special, that others may live. It's getting to live by the motto, everything that we do, all the training that we do, it really just culminates in getting to, to rescue that one individual who needs our help. Knowing the fact that I can be, I can directly save a soldier's life and bring them back home to their, their family, their wives, their children, that's enough for me to say, I'm gonna do this. It's okay, it's okay.
being, I've, I've been pararescue for over 15 years now, and the, the satisfaction of saving someone's life is far beyond any award or any, any money that they, that they give you. Saving somebody's life, looking at somebody, and then saying thanks for being alive is more than, more than you could ask for for job satisfaction. Personally, it's, I, mean, I just get the satisfaction that knowing that whatever situation arises, I mean, you, you're there to help. I mean, whether it be a car accident, a mom having a baby, you're there to help, you can do it. I'm up here because I failed. I continue to fail. I love failure. The indomitable will, if you have a belief, you can do something. The only way you grow that, like in the gym, you grow your muscles by actually exercising them. You know, to grow the individual will to become something, you must get comfortable with fear and failure. They must be your best friends. They're the only one that moves that needle of life. Every successful person, every hero you guys had was called an idiot, crazy, a loser. You must break society's status quo. So, status quo is normality. It's, it's alive but not living. It's death on a stick, guys. The belief of the individual can overcome thousands of followers. One person with a belief overrides thousands of people with just intent, jaw japping, just trying to, you know, fake it till they make it. The difference is not the, the, the genetic code, the potential. It's a guy that's willing to get knocked down, finally tested on fortune, stand back up. The perseverance! to see it through, the never say die attitude. If you're in a fight, you have to attack. You have to keep attacking. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. You must break the soul of whatever the fuck is in front of you. If you keep on attacking something, nothing wants to stand in front of anything that is relentless, nothing. I love being a PJ. It's one of the best jobs that you can possibly do. If you're looking for a purpose in your life and you're looking for a reason to wake up in the morning, look no further.